What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. And in this one, I will be going over everything you guys need to know on how to teach your dog to skateboard with you. All the things you need, all the commands you need. This is crazy, guys. I feel like we're the originators of this skateboarding lifestyle. And if I could bring more people into this, that's freaking amazing. <laughs> the more people I see skateboarding with their dog, shouts out all my skateboarding community. It's always awesome seeing people exercising their dogs. Since we found a lazy way to do it, it just makes it even easier to exercise your dog. If your dog doesn't enjoy pulling you, it's probably because your dog is out of shape. Start off slow. Rome wasn't built overnight. Exercise your dog, get him in shape. Eventually, he'll have enough strength and endurance to pull you. I'm gonna be going over on exactly everything you guys need to know when you're skating with your dog, as well as some tips for you guys and the dangers of it. Let's start off with going over the things you will need to begin skating with your dog. Of course, you will need your dog itself. In this case, we have Crypto, my two-year-old Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies are probably the best breed to do this with just because they have super energy, they never fatigue, and they love to run. Other dog breeds are capable of running with skateboards, as I've proven with YG, the German Shepherd. Second thing you will need is a skateboard itself. You could run your dog with a bike, but that's for a different video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over on a skateboard. The next thing you will need is a harness. You need a harness in order for your dog to pull you just because you don't wanna be choking them with the leash attached to their collar. When you're first starting, if your dog is super excited and pulls you full speed, it's always best to attach the leash to their collar. It'll somewhat restrain them from pulling full speed. That's how I started with Crypto. First tip, start off with the leash attached to the collar. The next item you will need is a leash. This is a pulling leash. It has some springy action that makes the pulling a lot smoother. You could use a normal leash. I would personally recommend a pulling leash. The next item you will need are some old shoes. Since you will be breaking with your foot, your shoe will most likely have a hole as well as your socks. Old shoes are always great. The final thing you will need to start riding with your dog will be riding skills. It's really important that you know how to ride a skateboard before you start riding with your dog. Before you even consider having your dog pull you on a skateboard, make sure you know how to ride the skateboard without your dog first. Get comfortable with stopping with your foot. Now there's two ways on how to ride a skateboard. You could either have your right foot at the front and pedal with your left. I think that's goofy. Or you could have your foot at the back and put your left foot on the front. Oh geez, that's really weird. I'm gonna be going over three items I believe are extremely helpful when you're riding with your dog on the skateboard. First item I highly encourage you guys to buy are bigger wheels. The normal skateboard wheels, you feel every little bump. Feeling every bump is not good, especially when you're going high speeds. If you run over a big crack, there's a really good chance you're gonna fall and hurt yourself. So big wheels are really needed if you're gonna ride with your dog. The second item I really recommend is Musher's Paw Wax. It protects your dog's paws. Protecting your dog's paws, especially in hot weather, is a must. If your dog has an injured paw, his skating days are over. This helps prevent from any injuries to your dog's paws. The third item I would really recommend would be the pulling leash I mentioned earlier. These type of leashes make for a smooth ride, whereas the normal leash tugs. This leash helps with all of the tugging, making your dog's pulling enjoyable. I'm gonna be going over some things you wanna make sure you have down before you start riding with your dog. The first thing, like I already mentioned, is master riding a skateboard. Learn how to ride a skateboard. If you don't know how to ride a skateboard, riding a skateboard with your dog is gonna be impossible and dangerous. The second thing will be to make sure that your dog is fully developed. Don't start having your dog pull you if they're any younger than one year old. The reason you don't want them to start pulling you is because your dog isn't fully grown if they're younger than one year. It could affect their growth. 
The third thing you should master before hopping on, your dog must enjoy the ride. If your dog doesn't enjoy the ride, there's no way in chance that he's gonna be pulling you all over the city. The fourth thing I would say before you hop on will be to check your gear. Make sure your skateboard's in proper shape before you start riding. I've had a circumstance where my wheel actually popped off. My bearings are completely destroyed. I'm in the search for some bearings. So make sure your gear is in good shape as well as yourself. You can't be tired riding with your dog. You can't be drunk riding with your dog or else the chances of you getting injured will increase significantly. Having all your gear in working condition is a must. Next thing before you hop on, you need to know that you are in control. Your dog will be pulling you full speed, but you need to brake whenever you want to stop. Your dog is not going to stop. Your dog doesn't know that there's a car coming right at your face. So you have to stop for your dog. Make sure you're in control at least 80% of the time. The other 20%, let your dog do whatever he wants. Shrim life. In the beginning, your dog will not listen to you. The final thing you need to master before you hop on with your doggo will be all the commands. There are five main commands that you need to know in order to help guide your dog. Starting with the first command, the go command. Every time you wanna start riding, it's really important your dog has eye contact with you before you start to ride. If you guys haven't seen my how to train your dog video, I'll link that video down in the description. I go over how to have eye contact with your dog. Ready? Good. Ask your dog if he's ready. Once he looks at you, tell him the second command, which will be go. It's important your dog has eye contact with you so he won't burst out running when there's a car coming past the street. Third command you need to teach your dog will be wait. You need to synchronize the commands with actions. Every time you say wait, you need to put your foot down and stop. Over time, your dog will synchronize all the commands with the actions. This won't happen in about a week. This will happen in probably two months or three months with riding your dog repeating the commands. You don't want to say the commands when they're not needed or else you're just going to confuse your dog. So make sure you say the commands when the action's about to go down. The next two commands will be the direction you want your dog to go. Every time you turn left, say the command I. Every time you turn right, say the command G. It's really important you don't overwhelm your dog with commands. Come here, sit. Sit. Speak. The last command will be the praising command. Good boy, Crypto. That could be good boy, good girl. All that command's gonna do is encourage your dog to keep running. The longer your dog runs, the better. That's it for all the commands. Keep repeating the commands every time you do the action. Go back in the video and watch that part as many times as you need. Hit the VTech Crypto. Some things to look out for if you are planning to do this. Your worst enemy will be uneven pavement. Cracks on the pavement are really bad for a skateboard. These wheels do really help. Uneven pavement is the worst. The next thing you will need to worry about, this is a perfect example, debris on the floor. You gotta look out for things such as rocks on the floor, little pieces of logs on the floor, because if you run over that, your face is going to have a good time kissing the pavement. Make sure you scan ahead, make sure the path is clear. Years of motorcycle riding has improved my skills. The worst thing that can happen is your dog spotting a squirrel, a cat, or a dog. Since dogs originated from wolves, they have a hunting skill in them. Every time they see one of these animals, they will hit the VTech. As we've seen on some of my videos, the VTech is a very powerful machine. Another thing you need to worry about is your dog's paws. This is where the musher paw wax comes in handy. Your dog's paws are its only way of transportation, so make sure you take care of them. Another warning when skateboarding will be when you're crossing the street. Your dog isn't aware of all the cars that are about to pass by. Make sure you stop at street crossings. I don't really stop just because it stops my momentum. Since you guys are just starting, it's really important you guys stop at street crossings. Overheating. You should try to avoid skateboarding with your dog at extremely high temperatures. If you are planning to exercise them, make sure you have some water. Hey, don't. Want some water? This is where the Mr. Peanut Bowls come in really clutch. These portable dog bowls is the best way to stop overheating. Always carry a water bottle with you.
Drink slow, dog. Drink slow. Good boy. Ah, oh, you fuck it. My skateboard. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she cute. Cross the street, dog. That's pretty much all the tips I have for you guys. If you guys have any tips for me, throw them down in the comments. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about with squirrels. Squirrels are dangerous creatures. I know they're squirrels, dog. I know they're squirrels. I'll throw the links of all the helpful items down in the description just to make it easier for you guys. I want to wish you guys the best of luck and a safe ride. I am not responsible if you guys get injured. Ride at your own risk. That's going to go ahead and wrap up this video, guys. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace.